In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop the gun bunch in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, be sure to click subscribe. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day right here on YouTube. Now, for those of you that have picked up my nickel 335 odd uh, defensive guide, I wanted to let you know that we've done some major updates to the guide. So be sure to check that playlist for the, all the updated videos that we've got. And be sure to check, uh, you know, just kind of check your emails and stuff and kind of be ready for any of the updates that might come out. We've been really labbing like absolutely crazy. And I feel like we're actually kind of finding uh, some really decent defenses, specifically for Gun Bunch. I think Gun Bunch is by far the hardest offense to stop this year. And so if you can be good against Gun Bunch, in theory, I think you can be very effective against pretty much every offense. And so that being said, um, I want to dive into, today, into today's video. And uh, what we're going to want to do is we're just going to come out in the play cover six out of the nickel three through five odd. For those of you that are new to the channel and you've not gotten the nickel 335 odd defensive guide yet, I want to encourage you to go ahead and pick that up. I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. You can get the entire defensive system for just $15 and it is a lethal, lethal defense. You've got great pressure, ability to get pressure against max protect, ability to get pressure against, you know, really with only sending two people. Um, so you've got great pressure concepts from this defense this year. And it also comes with really, really good coverage, in particular with the way the cover six defense works this year. So that being said, let's dive into this video and kind of break down some of the coverage concepts um, in terms of how we're going to make this a very, very good defense. All right, so what we're going to do here is first and foremost, I want to show you um, two specific bombs that can absolutely obliterate cover six so that you kind of know uh, what to think about. The first bomb is out of, the, they're both out of the play verticals. Uh, from Gun Bunch. The first bomb is we're just going to streak, um, or I'm sorry, we're just going to streak the tight end. So you're going to see here, I'm just in cover six. I just streaked the tight end. That's all I did. And what you're going to see here is oftentimes, and that time Carlton Davis actually played me, uh, played that route pretty well. But typically what I've found is that that doesn't happen every single time. More often, um, the tight end route is going to just torch this, as you can see right there over the top for a pretty big play. And then the other um, the other setup is really more of something that you can do. Um, there's a couple of different ways to do this. So the first one is just to put the circle receiver on an in route and put the R1 on a streak. So you see this right here. And this one, you'll see that they'll just basically completely glitch it out. As you can see, it's a complete bug in the game. And as you can see, we're able to beat it for a one play score. Let me just kind of break down exactly what happened on this play. Uh, what you're going to see here, this is actually a concept that is out of the dagger, but basically we have that dig, and for whatever reason, the safety literally just leaves him and uh, and goes and gets him. I don't know. I mean, that's just a testimony to where the where the game's at on defense right now. So, as you can see, it's it's wide open. And then the third one that I want to go over, is, and one that's a little bit more well known, probably at this point in the season, is to just do this setup. This is one of my favorite setups from verticals this year. But basically the R1 receiver um, will just absolutely kill it. I mean, there's no stopping it, as you can see. So that leaves you with the question of like, okay, Cody, how can you recommend running cover six when they can easily dot us up? Well, we're actually not gonna run it just like cover six. We're gonna make a couple of adjustments, kind of similar to the way we did with cover four quarters last year. Um, we're gonna do the same thing with cover six this year. So what we're gonna do from an adjustment perspective in order to prevent ourselves from getting bombed. And guys, I am here to tell you that basically, once you do these adjustments, I find this not only to be able to really withstand any kind of bomb potential, but I also think that this is the best, pers my personal opinion, the best coverage scheme in the game right now. So all we're going to do is we're going to spread our defensive line, we're going to crash our defensive line down, and then we're going to take the linebacker, Devin White, here, and we're going to man him up. We're going to cross man him onto the slot receiver. So you see right here, he's going to go into man coverage on the slot receiver. And then we're actually going to use this linebacker and kind of put him you know, either here or here, depending on how you want to stand. And I like to put him on a blitz angle. Okay? And then the last step is to take the defensive end on the right side of the screen and put him into a bluff blitz, as you can see. That's going to turn him into a three-reg hook zone. 
So everything on the right side, we're going to be fairly decent against. And I'm going to show you that first um, that first bomb with the uh, tight end streaking. And what you're going to see is we're going to play it really, really well. Um, you're going to see right there, not only are we going to play great coverage, but as you can see, you're going to get absolutely incredible pressure. Um, this is what makes a 3 through 5 odd so special. So if we go into instant replay, whoops, let me go to instant replay real quick. I think I have to come out in a new play. But let me just show you this coverage here. So you're going to see that because we've basically told this safety that you don't have to worry about Godwin, he's not going to. You're going to see the cross man is going to take him, and then he's going to take the tight end. So, um, you know, so we're able to able to basically cover that. And then I'm going to go over a couple other routes here. Um, the next one would be that second one that we showed you, uh, which would be the verticals play. So we're just going to streak the slot receiver. And again, here's your setup. It's honestly, once you get the the hang of it, it really doesn't take that much effort. And you'll see right here, the R1 is going to get cross manned. Now, obviously, in Ultimate Team, you're going to put a safety there. I don't know how he caught that, but you're going to put a safety there, you know, or you're going to, you know, even in regs, you can do that as well. But you're able to take away, um, you're able to take away that route. Now, the one thing that I find to be the most effective play, honestly, um, is if your opponent runs something like to play flood with that out route over there on that right side. And the way that we can take that away, if we want to, um, is we could take that slot corner and put him into a curl flat zone and then take that defensive end and put him into a hard flat. So it's another way to basically, again, kind of reiterate, they're not gonna be able to flood us. We're not just gonna be able to run the play flood on us. You know, we're gonna be able to take that away with that curl flat adjustment, as you can see right there. Now, I don't want to have to do that. I ideally, you know, want to just be able to run it as is, but if they are running flood, that's an adjustment that you can use that is going to be able to help you defend the flood concept. So, uh, but as you can see, guys, I mean, this is just a really, really fun little defense. You're getting instant pressure every single time. And what I like about it is they can't just flood you with corner routes. They can't just do that with this. Um, you know, really one of the best routes in the game this year, in my opinion, is this tight end corner. And you're going to see here that a tight end corner route really doesn't have a chance against this coverage. So you're really strong against corner routes. And really your primary responsibility as a user um, primarily is to make sure that they can't pass to a crosser on the left side or make sure you know that there's just nothing they can hit on the left side so for example you know something like this you're just kind of running back in here and as you see the match coverage is a great job got four people in the area obviously they were able to complete it still somehow miraculously but part of that's because I'm using two controllers but you see that you have defenders in the um, you know kind of the right place to be able to make plays so this right now is the way that I've been playing defense and honestly I've been playing pretty decent I haven't been stopping the bunch every time but I've been getting a lot more consistent stops so you know this is kind of the first step in my opinion down the road to getting defense and if you want to learn my entire nickel 335 odd defensive guide I'm gonna put a link to that in the description of this video you can actually get that right now for just 15 bucks so it's super super cheap and super affordable but it's also super effective uh, we've been updating the guide literally non-stop since the game has been launched as we're finding new pressure concepts new coverage concepts and one of the commitments that we've been making to people is that basically if the game gets patched and they change the way blitzes work or they improve the way zone works or they change the game a little bit we're going to update the defensive guide for you completely for free so as the game kind of changes and shifts we're going to give you guys free updates on this defensive guide. So um, this guide should be very effective for you for a long time. So if you've not gotten the guide yet, I would encourage you to get it. There's a link in the description down below where you can get it for just 15 bucks. All you gotta do is head down there, click on that website link. It'll take you to my website right where you can get your defensive guide. So thanks for your support. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you wanna get that defensive guide, 
I put a link to it down in the description where you can pick it up.